instructs the Philippians in this letter. Mm -hmm. And he tells them <coughs> not that I speak in respect to woman. Mm -hmm. For I have learned in whatsoever state I am, mm -hmm. therewith to be content. Mm -hmm. And I found that this morning and this hour that even the church is not content. My, my, my. Every time you look around, the church is putting on program after program, mm -hmm. trying to take care of this bill and trying to take care of mm -hmm. that bill. Mm -hmm. Killing the little people that you have in the church. Mm -hmm. But I believe that if we wait on the Lord, Based and get our instructions from the Lord. Based on. We won't have to have all these programs in the afternoon. Praise God. I'm not saying that I'm against it, but I am saying that we need to lean heavily on the Lord. If we say we trust Him, uh -huh. lean on Him. Because we know God will make everything Amen. all right. Amen. I've talked about the church and I can go to the streets. A problem to some of our homes where we're just not satisfied with what we have. I meant to tell y'all that's my subject too. I'm so satisfied. <laughs> Somebody said that's a song, and it is. Mm -hmm. That's how I came up with this sermon this morning. Mm -hmm. Because I looked around and I said, I'm so satisfied mm -hmm. with my Savior. Oh, yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't know how to be satisfied with just Say Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Say so. Mm -hmm. We are constantly running after any and everything, thinking that they will satisfy us. And all we need is Jesus. We run trying to get rich, and a lot of us are making us poor trying to get rich. Come on. My Lord, my Lord. Spending money that we don't have. Trying to get rich. Mm -hmm. We buying unnecessary things mm -hmm. just to try to keep up with the Joneses. My Lord, my Lord. Or just saying that I have this and I can outdress you or I could do this and I can do that. Uh -huh. We're just never satisfied with what we have. Say so. But I come to tell you this morning that Paul was a long ways from Damascus Road. Yeah. Come on now. He wrote this letter. Paul did not just get up off Damascus Road and find himself being content. Come on. Come on. All right now, Pastor. I don't care who you are. Say so. When you first get saved, you still have some issues. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Until you get rooted and grounded in the Lord. Uh -huh. yes. You can never say, like Paul, I am content. My Lord, my Lord. With whatsoever state I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my. But I do believe that if you give yourself time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let the Lord work on you. Amen. You go through some trials and some tribulations yeah. in your life. Yeah. You go through some ups and downs yeah. my, my, in your my, life. My, my. Yeah. Glory. And I believe if you just hold on to God's unchanging hand, yeah. my Lord, my Lord. you can say just like Paul. Yeah. Without respect or want. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had to learn uh -huh. how to be content. Look. And you have to stop right there and realize Paul had to learn some things. Yeah. Uh -huh. You would think that a man such as Paul uh -huh. 
had all the schooling that he had, would already know how to be content. My Lord, my Lord. Well, I come to tell you this morning. Go ahead, preacher. Down on Damascus Road. Yeah. Uh, everything that he had learned in his life. Go ahead. Didn't make any difference. Go ahead. Go ahead. To old brother Paul. Yeah. Paul said, I got all of them, but done. Uh -huh. <laughs> that I might win Jesus. Yeah. Paul said, I caught all of them, but lost. Yeah. Yeah. Because I seen something that I never seen before. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all do know that he was caught up into the third heaven. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said that he saw things that he never seen before. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe in the process of learning. Yeah. He learned how to be. Woo. Yeah. You see, it takes time, time and time again yeah. to learn how to be content. Yeah. I've seen people that I work around, yeah. they go on to buy this and go on to buy that, yeah. never content with what they have, yeah. always being in debt, yeah. never have the opportunity to say I'm free at yeah. night. Yeah. But every time you turn around, yeah. they're always in debt. Yeah. I come to ask the church this morning, uh -huh. do you know anybody yeah. that you've been praying for for a long time? Uh -huh. Just say, if we just stay out of debt, yeah. then everything yeah. is going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Chief. Paul also said these words. He said, I know how to be a bitch. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. And I know how to abide. Yes. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed mm -hmm. to be full and to be humble. Uh -huh. yes. Let me stop right there. Oh, yes. Because some of us don't know what it feels like mm -hmm. to be humble. Come on. Okay. All our lives, we had food on our table. Uh -huh. We had clothes to put on our back. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know what it feels like to go without a meal yeah. from one week to the next. Uh -huh. From one day to the next. Uh -huh. We don't know what it feels like to be without shoes uh -huh. on our feet. Uh -huh. We don't know what it feels like to have, have not to have clothes to put on our back. Yeah. But Brother Paul said that I was, I, 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 I was instructed how to do all these things. Yeah. Uh -huh. I come to tell you this morning that, that Paul was, was a wealthy man, I believe, at one yeah. time. And I believe that, that he had food on his table. Yeah. I believe that he had clothes to put on his back. Uh -huh. But I believe when he got hooked up with Jesus, uh -huh. I believe that he lost everything uh -huh. that he had. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that he didn't have no time in his life. Uh -huh. That he didn't have clothes to put on his back. Yeah. That he didn't have food to put yeah. in his stomach. Yeah. That's why Paul said, I know how to uh -huh. be food. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Pastor. Yeah. Church house. Look, not willing to suffer. The Bible says that if you suffer with me, that you are reign. And that's just enough right there. And that you know, God, I'm going to suffer with you. Because if I suffer with you, I will reign with you. God just don't know the story of the man who shipwrecked. Hey! Hallelujah. He was shipwrecked. The Bible says he will be yes, sir. Yes, sir. beyond measure. Yes, he said, but I count all the jobs yes, for Jesus' sake. Hallelujah. I know how to do this thing. Glory. Paul says, yes. I, I can do all things oh, Hallelujah. with Christ. Yes, it's Glory. It's Glory. I come to tell you this morning, church, you, you may have your doubt. Yeah. <laughs> And people may tell you that you can't do anything. Yeah. 
But you need to look that old devil in the face. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. He didn't say some things. He said, I can do all things. If y'all don't mind, I'm getting ready to close this message. I told you my sermon was entitled, I'm so satisfied. And the more I listen to that record, excuse me, the more I listened to that record this week, I began to look back over my life. And the more I began to listen to it, tears began to run down my face. It says, I'm so satisfied with my Savior. And I'm so satisfied. And how he cares for me. Yeah. Don't y'all know this morning uh -huh. that we got a God that looks high, yeah. that yeah. looks low, right. that sits high and he looks low. Yeah. Don't you know that we have a God yeah. that cares for us yeah. Yeah. when we don't even care for ourselves? Yeah. We have a God that will look for us, yeah. look out for us yeah. when we in our trouble and yeah. all hell has us all around us. Yeah. We have a God that will take care of us. Yeah. I'm so satisfied with my Savior. I don't care who goes and who comes in my life. Walk out on me if you want to. I'm so satisfied. Talk about me if you want to. I'm so satisfied. He helps me to lift my heavy burden. I'm so satisfied. Talk about me. I'm so He means more to me than this world. Then it says, I'm so satisfied. I'm so satisfied. He means more to me. Yeah. Whatever you can offer me. Yeah. Whatever you can offer me. God means more to me than this old world. Help. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus himself was dealing with the devil. Yes, yes. The devil said, I'll show you, I give, I'm showing you the kingdoms of the world. Yes. All the nations of the world. Yes, so, <laughs> he just didn't know. <laughs> Jesus don't know me anyway. Love it. And I believe that if Jesus could have answered it anyway, he probably would have said, I'm so Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know about y'all this morning. I'm satisfied. Yeah. The only thing I'm not satisfied about, I'm not, I need to grow higher. Yeah. 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 Thank you, God. The little house that I have, I'm satisfied. The car that I drive, I'm satisfied. My health that I'm in, I'm satisfied. All of it, I'm satisfied with. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Yeah. The more I have of him, the better I'll be. I'm so satisfied. I'm so satisfied. I'm so satisfied with my Savior. If I could sing, when you start looking back over your life, and you see what God has brought you from, and we get greedy uh -oh. and never said, never satisfied what God has done for you. But I was sitting there and I was thinking, Lord, oh, I'm satisfied. Yeah. I'm so satisfied. Lord. Yeah. I played that song about 10 or 20 times a day. Yeah. Not just one day, every day. Yeah. Until it just ministered to me. Yeah. I'm satisfied. Oh. I'm satisfied. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Are you saying, Lord? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Should you get satisfied with Jesus? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That man said, I'm satisfied with the way that he takes care of me. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you
that you would just bless us from on high this morning, God. In the precious name of Jesus that I pray, let the church say amen. 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 amen.